Hello everyone, my name is Grace and welcome to Plum Bob Cubed. This is episode 12 of The Master and the Brawler and I have realized something. It is Irisa's birthday today and we're gonna get that notification. Right now it's 3.50 a.m. and Vita is awake. Everyone else is thoroughly asleep because they have a decent sense of what time is and Connor wants to woohoo with Agnes. Wow. Jared, fun fact, is actually the only one who has work today. Vita is going to go downstairs and one of my favorite things that I do a lot at work is that I go hide in the bathroom to make phone calls and I think she might call Nick since, you know, he still has the rich thing. We only have 10,000 simoleons and she did just have his baby. So I want her to call him and just chat with him. And she doesn't like the toilet. What's wrong with it? It's clogged. Yep. Don't you think it's too late to talk? Try calling me back in the morning. I might want to talk then. It is the morning. Does Vita have the handiness skill? No, she's she's not going to try to have the handiness skill either. She could improve her charisma, I guess. Oh, uh, what is her charisma? Yes, yeah, she could get another age up. Wow, I have no clue. She could have never level up. Practice domination of world speech. Oh, Connor's awake. He needs to use the restroom. So of course do that. And then he's going to take a shower. He's probably going to go talk to his daughter. Be like, hello, sweetie. How are you? You know, because she's adorable. And he wants to finish his current book. Okay. Well, his hunger honestly isn't that low. So maybe once he talks to his daughter, he comes back in and he continues writing what do you call a bear with no teeth. I still have that picture saved in my phone. It's a gummy bear. I make that joke a lot. Connor's going to talk to his daughter. Oh, and be like, wow, Irisa, it's your birthday today. You have zero days until aging up. Isn't that wild? I'm so proud of you. You're such a good girl. At that point, we'll have to decorate the room more, I guess. Anyone else awake yet? No. Okay, and another baby has been born. To Fiona McIrish and Styles McGraw. One I know, we don't have any name recommendations. And we're on the letter O. It's a girl. I am going to name this girl Oisha or O'Shea uh, because I... I think that's interesting. Also, like Fiona McIrish is a very Irish name to me, and also McGraw is kind of Irish to me. So I kind of like the idea of giving their child an Irish name. Oh my gosh, few can write humor quite like Connor, who just finished what do you call a bear with no teeth? It's 361 pages might just satisfy those seeking the funny side of life. Or he'll receive some good royalty payments. Well, then we can now save his wish to the woohoo of Agnes. And then I want him to immediately start his second comedy book or humor novel. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Perfect. Agnes is up. She is stretching. She is looking cute. So we're going to go ahead and take care of her needs. She's also probably going to go to her daughter's room afterwards and snuggle with her daughter and play with her daughter. You know, she is... I thought she was family oriented. She's actually not, but she's a hopeless romantic. I think of part of having that like idea of like unconditional love. It's unconditional love for your family. And Agnes is going to age up in four days. Wow. She's going to become an adult. And Agnes broke the toilet. It's fine. Agnes has now just talked to her daughter. So we're going to put her daughter back in the crib. And then let's go downstairs and worry about food. Do we have food? We have great pancakes. Agnes is going to have some great pancakes. And I think at this point, after she eats, uh, I want to get the notification. It is definitely Irisa's birthday before I do anything. So we're probably going to call to schedule a birthday party later. And now Leon is a little stinky. So Jared is... I'm going to make Jared get up because he He's the one who's closest. Also, because I apparently just love having him take care of this child that's not his. Also, Jared has a seed. Jared has a seed. This is what happens when I don't play in a while. I need to be consistent. I know none of you say that to me, but I say it to myself. <laughs> At this point, Jared can definitely get ready. Today is Irisa's birthday. Today she embarks on the next stage of a life's great adventure. Why not buy her a birthday cake and throw a party? That's exactly what we're going to do. Agnes, when she's done with her food can go ahead and throw a party and it also wants to paint so we can make sure we do that and I do want to throw this party early because Jared has to go to work and he is her uncle so it's kind of like important that he's there it's family so Agnes is gonna call to schedule the party oh and Connor got paid for writing his book all right, it's going to be a birthday party, of course. The start time can be 9 o'clock in the morning. It's just going to be casual attire. And then let's go ahead and invite the families first. 
Honestly, I kind of like the idea of having a smaller party just because also if you're thinking about this, it's Agnes and Connor. So they probably want to have like a more low-key party, but they still want to celebrate their kids. So I think they're going to try to invite everyone. And Gunther's over here. It's like, yo, we have so much in common, Agnes. I think I would love to get to know you better. And I might, some setup might be in order. We'll serve the table. And then also let's quickly run to shop for groceries to get that cake. Um, It's important. And Agnes Agnes wants to order pizza for a 9 a.m. birthday party. Once Agnes gets back, she can continue her painting. Irisa is having a little bit of a fuss. Um, so we'll have Jared help. Uh, what does she need? She needs food. Okay. Uncle Jared will come out of the shower. He'll always snuggle for a little bit. And then he'll feed her. Now we are at the grocery store. We are going to grab that cake. And we're going to come home. And then Jared, once he's done. I mean, the birthday is about to start. So I don't feel like he really has to do anything um you know what he should do he should imbibe sugar spiked fruit juice i guess and something else that would probably be helpful is getting the mail then i think that he probably wants to talk to his fiance all right i forgot party's starting to start an hour before actually starting in the sims 3 so claire ernstein is here and she's just walking in what is this it's a cobbler <gasps> what I need to improve my sims cooking abilities and actually look at the food that they make. Oh my god. I also love how they did her jacket. Okay, anywho, Agnes, honey, I need you to stop painting and I need you to do a friendly introduction to your guest. And now Claire Ernstein is running away. Oh, she's running to the backyard. Uh, Vita can come out and she can uh, talk to her daughter. Where did Claire Ernstein go? I thought she was running around to the backyard, but... Oh, there she is. She's already there. Okay, uh, we got the new books and we also got Agnes's award. Okay, so we we should drag and drop those to Agnes. So, award, obviously Agnes. A bear with no teeth, that's Connor. I don't know anything else. And we'll figure out the decoration of where to put the certificate later. Agnes introduced herself to Claire. Maybe they're gonna go ahead and chat and get to know a little bit. At that point, Agnes is going to go back to where she's comfortable about and she's gonna chat with her sister and hug her, and ask about day, and tell a story. Holly's outfit is so cute. Like, like, this is a modern outfit like the kids these days would wear this then V is gonna applaud her daughter's vegetarianism and ask about a day go ahead and probably debate politics with her daughter make sure she has a smart brain and she's gonna admire her daughter too of course and also I think praise her daughter it's important that you know she talks to her daughter and praises her Jared who should Jared talk to um he could talk to Gunner Gunther so I think he's gonna go up to Gunther and praise a book that he might have wrote and um enthuse about his wedding coming up i mean like not gunther's wedding but you know our wedding do the basic like friendly interactions that we have jared could become the town gossip over here connor needs to come down so go here something just broke the computer just broke question is this set as our front door why is everyone coming in this way is this door locked or something i want to set the front one as the front door unlock this door too everyone has open access Jared is not making friends. Oh, because we're enemies with Gunther. Let's just slap him then. Let's just slap him and then walk away. Who can Jared talk to without starting a fight? He could talk to Mortimer. Do a friendly introduction to Mortimer after slapping his dad. Connor, he's gonna dance with Fiona. Sounds great. And Hank's coming to our party. We didn't invite you, Hank. If there is a chance for escalation, you know who takes it, Jared. Okay, now he's gonna go talk to your son. Connor, who are you going to talk to? You could talk to Nick. Do a friendly introduction to Nick. Or actually, you know what makes more sense? Connor wants to repair the relationship with Claire and to have Brooke as a part of their life. Vita's conversation with her daughter seems to be going well. Oh, and look, Vita wants to master the charisma skill. Absolutely. Um, let's tell an inside joke with our daughter and tell a funny story. You know, compliment our daughter. That's important. Ask about her daughter's age. Like, exactly how many days until your birthday? We can talk about art for our daughter and we can tell a dramatic story. Just keep that conversation going and try to repair the relationship we have with her daughter after like cheating and divorcing and everything seems important agnes is talking to her sister we can go in keep that relationship up make them keep talking to each other um 
that point, Jared's talking to this little kid. We've done the friendly introduction. Get to know this little kid. Gossip with this little kid. Let's chat with this little kid. Tell funny story. Make a silly face. It would be great if we had a ball, because then like they could like play together. I I think that would be cool. Um, maybe if we just leave things in that. Mortimer may tag Jared. Connor, can you talk to can you talk to Claire? Hey Claire, like let's get to know. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I think you're hot, says Claire. Let's talk about movies and ask about her career. Just get to know her more and try to really like, repair the damage that Jared did to the neighbor's relationship because they are neighbors. Jared's actually kind of getting along with Mortimer. That's nice. That does not happen. I mean, he can't fight a little kid, so I guess it does make sense. It has been 30 minutes into the party. I think we're going to wait an hour into the party and at that point, we are going to age up I Teresa. I think that makes the most sense. Oh, Nick has to go soon. He's supposed to be somewhere else. So I, I guess then Agnes will probably be like, you know, Nick says like, hey, you know, I kind of have to head out. So I'll just be like, okay, okay, yeah, we can, we can do the birthday candle thing now. Uh, the real question is, should, should Agnes or should Connor do the birthday candles? I think Agnes might do it. So blow out the birthday candles. Of course, Irisa. Irisa is having a birthday party. Come one, come all. The best thing is to only keep track of one sim. Oh my god, wait! Is Gunther gonna, like, take care feed Leon? Because he needs food. Aww! Gunther is feeding Leon! What's Vita's relationship with Gunther? They're good friends. I should not be scheming. We can ask what her attraction to Gunther is later during this party as a friendly interaction. Come on, everyone. Time to get to the kitchen. I love how big this kitchen is. It's gonna be nice for birthday parties, I think. And the candle has been blown out. I, of course, did not get a good photo of it because when do I ever? And Iris goes on the ground while everyone tramples over her to get cake. I love how we only have three people in here actually celebrating. Um, you know, that's sweet. And Jared looks like he's about to die. <sighs> Aren't we all, man? Aren't we all? And Agnes has walked away. Grab a plate. And Connor is getting a phone call. The days have flown by. And Iris says now it's hot alert. She can, she still needs a lot of caring for, but can also learn basic sim skills like walking and talking. But she learns at this age will set the stage for her future development. I think it's time we go in for the cross-eyed picture that all sims are famous for once they age up. I apparently cannot zoom in any more than this, but I kind of like this picture picture framing. So, of course, Connor's gonna get a memory. Oh, we can only have so much in it. Okay, well, I guess it's gonna be his daughter, and it's gonna be a positive memory. All right, so Connor's daughter is now ready to be taught basic skills and is starting her way in life. Agnes is also gonna get the same memory. Agnes's daughter is now a toddler. It will be so nice seeing her interact more with the world. Of course, we're gonna keep that in the scrapbook. Now it's time for cake. Connor, you don't need to discuss favorite TV shows. You need to answer your phone and then you need to change your daughter's dirty diaper and probably toss her in the air. Agnes grabbed her veggie rolls. Judy Bunch would like to know if Connor Frio would like to go on a date while he's in the middle of celebrating his daughter's birthday party. No! Oh my god, and Irisa is crawling. She is crawling towards that TV. Jared, why are you laughing at this baby who just staged up? All right, and now, of course, what is Connor about to do? Grab his little slice. Okay, Irisa is just gonna crawl and go watch some football. Agnes, you're done with your plate, right? You could clean up. Please let the plate be free from Agnes's hand. I move the waffles out of the way. Can you do whatever you want? Yay, Agnes can move. Aww. Mortimer's playing video games and he's happy. Agnes, at this point, Connor's still eating his cake. I mean, everyone's mostly eating. Who could she talk to? I mean, she could just go to her daughter, you know? Snuggle with her daughter, tickle her daughter. Be like, wow, you're you're such a big girl now. I would love if you pick her up in a spot that's convenient for cute photos. That would be extremely helpful. All right, I need you guys to do another cute interaction. Do a tickle another time. Aw, that's cute. Ball we'll to decorate Irisa's room now. That'll be fun. I think Agnes at this point definitely wants to improve her relationship to Mortimer. He is going to be Irisa's cousin. Like, we can go into her little thing now. And we can see cousin. I think that Agnes wants them to have, like, a relationship. So now that they've introduced to each other, we can, you know, chat with Mortimer and tell a funny story and ma make a silly face and talk about movies. You know, kids like movies and discuss favorite TV shows. 
shoes. And that'll be enough for right now. All right, let's go through the list. Vita, you're actually doing okay. You're socializing with someone and having a fine time. Oh my gosh. And then Jared, he's coming to flirt with Vita. So they can do that. And Jared wants to cook Iris's favorite meal. What's her favorite meal? Tri-tip steak. This girl's expensive. And like everyone else, the two kids love classical music. Connor, what are you doing? You're being confused. I think Connor's gonna come and he's going to talk to Cornelia, who is like his wife's best friend, you know, they're sisters. So I think that he's just gonna like talk and get to know the sister more and develop that friendship. Switch off conversations, everyone. All right, y'all are flirting now? Go for it. Kiss each other. Do a shy kiss. Do a hug. I don't know. Be romantic with each other. Compliment appearance. That's a good one. Flirtatious joke and hold hands. That's good. Wait, that means these are going to cancel out. See, that's the bad thing about romantic interactions is that like they have to be so monitored. These guys are still able to talk to each other. That's really important because we want them to be friends. Look, Connor already wants to teach Irisa how to talk, how to walk. That's so cute. All right, now Jared's finished all his interactions. So it's Vita's turn to be romantic. Wait, don't do a hug. You guys just did a hug. I pay attention. Do a joke and kiss. People like getting kisses. Stroke cheek. Stroking cheek is cute. Connor is good friends with his sister-in-law. That's nice. These... These two are fighting. Holly is so cute. I love Holly. Agnes is still talking with her nephew. I was thinking once Connor's done talking to his sister-in-law, he'd come talk to Gunther. And, you know, like, brighten Gunther's day and chat. Ask about career. Be like, aren't you in business, man? Yeah, that's so cool. No, I actually, I write about some things that people do in business. And try to build that relationship with Gunther since they're only acquaintances. These two are being flirty. Vita, at this point, is going to leap into his arms. And I'm gonna let them, after this point, while they're irresistible, I'm gonna let them just do what they want. These two are fighting, are just like, wow, this was a great party. Nick says, I think it's time to go, but I had fun, so thanks. And Claire says, I have to leave now, but thanks for inviting me. I had a pretty good time. Yay! Connor, I want you to answer your phone and then talk to your brother-in-law. Get to make friends. Hi, Connor, for you, this is Emma Hatch calling. Do you want to hang out eventually but like right now i'm kind of in the middle of something my daughter's birthday party jared's carpool is coming in about an hour agnes is going to keep talking to mortimer and you know be friendly be like wow a house school or something jared is gonna dance wildly with fiona I mcirish no he isn't he's gonna talk to his future stepdaughter be like hi holly oh and holly's leaving she's like oh talking to you my possible future stepfather no thanks you sure know how to throw an awesome party. See you later. Honestly, I think I would leave too if I saw the most aggressive man in town coming towards me. What should Jared do? Fire sell the burglar alarm? Uh, he can do a rag and dance. That sounds great. Connor's gonna enthuse about business with his brother-in-law and ask about age. He can also go ahead, praise the book that Gunther supposedly wrote and talk about books in general. Be like, yeah, you know, I'm actually a writer too. And Gunther is leaving. What does everyone want to do? People are just leaving. I think that was a lot of socialization for Connor. So I think he's going to bring, he's going to drink some juice himself and just kind of relax. You know, go into like the quiet dining room where Vita is just wolfing down her food. And actually Connor says that he wants to talk to Vita. So maybe during this party, it would be a great time to just chat. Agnes, she wants to become friends with Jared. Oh, now we can compliment Mortimer. We should compliment Mortimer. Now Cornelia is leaving. She said, what a great party i had a blast yeah i know our daughter aged up all right now mortimer's going he says you sure know how to throw an awesome party see you later and hank is leaving too this amazing opportunity to ask jared how his day's going you know what okay jared has worked in two hours i was about to be like isn't jared's work coming soon and it is it's actually coming now agnes is gonna interrupt him first and be like hey did you enjoy the party you know ask if he slept well and be like you're such a great dancer and talk about cooking with him since you know he likes cooking Talk about movies and since they have the same work, you know, discuss work. And now they're friends! Let's go. Alright, now we can save Connor's wish to each 
to teach Iris to walk. And Vita's kind of just looking at Connor's like, why are you talking to me? I know. And so I think at that point, oh, she's actually going to ask him about his day. You go for it. Actually, Connor's going to run across the street and greet Claire. Claire, she's walking with the daughter. Vita's going to continue eating cobbler, even though she's stuffed. And Fiona's still here. Okay. So Connor's going to go up to Claire. I think he's going to be like, bright and day. Be like, thank you for coming to the birthday party. You know, it's really nice seeing you. It's going to brighten her day, tell a story, and get to know. You know, it's really nice you seeing know. you. You know, I think it would be great since Brooke and Irisa are now like about the same age. I think it'd be really cool if they could like become friends. You know, I think Agnes is going to come out here too with Irisa and greet Claire. And we'll see if we're able to successfully do a three way combo in The Sims 3. I have never been able to have three Sims talk to each other at the same time. Well, Jared, please do not eat cookies. Please go to work. Your wife is now eating autumn salad. She can stop though. What should Vita do? You know, she can clean out the bad food. That'd kind of be good. And then I'd like her to work on her charisma more. I think there's so many cool things we can do with Vita with like talking to friends and stuff. But we're I'm trying to make a three way conversation work over here. I'm not going to probably that. Agnes actually has a wish to learn handiness, so I'm going to save that, and I'm thinking that with, you know, her daughter just becoming a toddler, I think that Agnes might want to talk to Connor about becoming a stay-at-home mom. Become a bigger group circle. And then Agnes is going to ask Claire about age. Connor is going to ask about Agnes's day, compliment party. He's going to talk about books with Claire, and this convo is going to go well. I kind of like how you can look at a unit of different perspectives, you know, Two people standing over here that are like married, two people with kids standing over here, the trying to make up a relationship one, and there Jared goes off to work. And Connor wants to buy a dollhouse and he wants to buy a toy box. And Agnes isn't able to get a word in in this conversation, apparently. Chat, praise his book. Agnes is standing there like detached from this conversation. Talk to your wife, Connor. Agnes' party was awesome, verging on epic. Sims all around town will be talking about this one for years. Agnes is saying that she's incapable of talking because Claire was there and now he turned to her. See, this is one of the interesting things. The Sims 4 does really good at like multiple people having conversations. The Sims 3 does not. The Sims 4 does really bad at individual one-on-one -on -one conversations. Like if two people are just flirting, everyone wants to come into the conversation. On The Sims 3, it's significantly easier to have one-on-one -on -one conversations. Why are you guys flirting in front of Claire, that's reducing your friendship. I think Agnes is gonna boast about her party, maybe. Talk about books. Both of you just yawned. Claire's a loner. I, oh yeah, I'm talking about how good a party was isn't that great when you're both loners. <laughs> just do a regular chat, I guess. And ask about age. You know, like, think about it. Just be like, hey, you know, like, we want we want our kids to be friends. Oh, and Connor wants to talk to Jared. That's so cute. And now the punk kid's just whining between the conversation. They're all saying that Irisa's crying while she's not crying. So I think Agnes is going to get to know Claire, then hug her husband, and then go inside with Irisa and just kind of like hang out alone. And I think then Jared, I mean Connor, is most likely going to follow suit. But I want to make sure this definitely happens. And once we make sure this works, are you saying that you can't talk to your- Oh, because you have your dog. Try to hug your husband. Oh, wow, I can't get to it. Agnes tried to hug her husband. That's all we can expect in The Sims 3. I think Agnes is gonna go back home while Connor kind of works on building up that socialization and building up that friendship. Why are you trying to question this woman? Now Agnes is back in the house. We have Leon who's crying, who's in the wrong crib, who has a dirty diaper. I think Agnes is just going to put Irisa down and she's gonna take care of Leon and be like, your mom never comes to talk to you, does she? She's kind of a last resort parent, huh? And then she's gonna put Leon back in the right crib. Alright, and now Claire's walking off. So Connor is going to come home i think he's going to walk into the kid's bedroom and we are going to buy all the stuff he wants for irisa or that might just be a mini episode later if you guys want tell me in the comments below if you just want to see me kind of like decorate irisa's room and kind of like figure that out and also in that episode i could do irisa's outfit and try to figure that out too i just i don't feel like taking time from the episode right now to do that it takes energy i have so little energy no connor don't go downstairs don't go downstairs you're Keep your daughter awake. It is not bedtime. Keep your daughter awake. Come upstairs and talk to your wife. Come upstairs and talk to your wife. And she can go ahead and talk to her husband. Ask about his day and chat. You know, we have plenty of space here. Tell an inside joke. 
praise his new book be like isn't it that's so good then also go ahead and hug him be like thank you for throwing this birthday party with me thank you for talking to the guests with me thank you for making sure this wasn't so stressful and then when agnes is gone connor is going to talk and he's gonna have some cool things to say to her i'm sure and irisa is just on the floor can you listen to music no we'll figure something out for you later now it's connor he's gonna like talk to his wife he's gonna praise her book he's gonna ask if she slept well she's gonna brighten her day be like wow that party was amazing he's gonna tell her a story and he's gonna hug her too and i think at that point i think she he's going to ask her to clean up he's gonna talk to their daughter and teach her start teaching her how to walk why is there water running we did something to the toilet no don't put irisa in a crib put her on the floor vita trying to parent when she's not supposed to parent while ignoring her own child okay i think vita's gonna go out here and she's going to search the galaxy that's gonna boost her logic and i think that's important to her Connor's gonna ask agnes to clean up and then he's gonna go down and he is going to talk to his daughter tickle her in the air um snuggle with her and teach her how to walk and agnes is going to go clean i think that was a successful party also leon is now hungry but he's sleeping oh great i love when babies sleep in the night and agnes is gonna go clean a shower and make oh i guess it's going through individual things that she can clean i guess that makes sense i was thinking about like cleaning up the plates but you know she's doing it differently than i am all right now we're going to teach irisa to walk does she have like little ballet shoes on oh that's so cute i'm gonna keep that in i'm gonna keep that in if only we had generations installed and she could become a ballerina it would be so cute oh my god all the food is stinking now it's only been out for a minute wow okay but this food isn't stinking well that's good this food isn't stinking a new object discovered vita has discovered a new medium yellow dwarf star vita gets to name the star and will be rewarded 160 simoleons by the holberg wilder astronomical society it's a medium yellow dwarf star. The first thing that I think of is like a pun with alto because it means tall in Spanish. It's so like tall, medium, small. So my brain is just like, we should go ahead and do medio. But I think that Vita would be more like alto to like remember to have a star up there that is always going to reflect her and just be like, Honestly, I think she might name it Vita Alto. So that means the star will always be about her and she will always be up in the star up in the sky we are the bunny yay and vita's gonna go flatter agnes no now vita wants to discover five stars she's gotten a little bit of a hit search the galaxy some more i guess oh my gosh and we have a new baby it is a baby boy and we are on the letter o i mean on the letter p i kind of want to name him philip so he's gonna be named philip you know you don't like my names comment baby names down below that's what i advise and agnes has no more cleaning to do, apparently wash all the dishes on the lot please and while you keep doing that connor is going to keep no the baby is tired <laughs> all right and, and leon is still sleeping so we don't have to worry about him yet connor really has to pee we're gonna go send him up to an unclogged toilet to do that while Arisa cries a little bit while her mom takes care of the dishes it's a little bit of chaos right now i was just like give me a second give me a second sweetie i'll, th I'll feed you in a second so then she's gonna feed her daughter on the floor she's done with this first batch of dishes now she's gonna take care of her daughter be like sweetie eat don't worry about it then we're gonna clean up all of the other dishes even if i have to go through and click them all by hand connor you're not going to play the video game i'm going to make sure you washed your hands after using the toilet because i don't trust you and agnes is working on all these dishes wow there's one on the floor here too that i guess she isn't gonna get and this sink's about to break or is it the upstairs sink the upstairs sink nope that's two sounds both sinks then we have another dish here like the daughter is still having her food so i think the parents are respectively going to try to clean their own sink that they broke and then they'll put their daughter to bed right as she finishes okay uh practice crawling your dad just taught you the basics of how to walk right try to try to practice it i kind of like this idea that they can't use vita to take care of anything learn a recipe for jared frio it's imperative you learn to prepare fried peanut butter and banana sandwich a ditch for which the restaurant is famous. Take care to read and memorize the recipe and you'll be compensated financially. Yes. They give us the book for us to read though, right? Yeah, we don't have to like buy it. As long as we don't have to buy it, it's fine. Keep crawling, girlfriend. It's almost nine o'clock. This toddler should be in bed. Leon's awake now. Connor's gonna go take care of this one. This child. He's going to give a bottle to this child. Be like, hey. 
you, nephew. Have some food. And Agnes is not going to use the restroom. She's going to take care of her daughter. She's going to toss her daughter in the air. Oh, Agnes wants to read a book about handiness. Yeah, we can go to the library one day and do that. Especially if Agnes is going to be a stay-at-home parent now. Then we'll snuggle with the daughter. At which point, we'll go upstairs and we'll put her in bed. And Jared just got off work. All right, and after... <laughs> Put your child in the bed. Agnes is going to use the restroom. I just paid $150 for her personal time off. That's good. All right, and Leon is looking nice. Connor's going to put Leon back in his crib. And then I think he's going to meet his wife out in the hallway once again. And Jared, after getting home from work, I think he's going to go ahead and drink some juice. Uh, Agnes. Oh, Agnes is going to the bathroom first. I forgot. Connor can practice his walking skills. We love practicing our walking skills. Agnes, you didn't wash your hands. Go back. Wash your hands. Try again. Now, Connor's going to go ahead and admire Agnes's handiness. He'll be like, look, we'll fix the sings. <laughs> Remember when we were little Iris's age, you didn't have to worry about anything. And he's going to brighten her day. And he's going to go in and they're gonna like be flirty with each other in the bathroom that's what i was thinking go romance it up in the bathroom now jared if you want to be hopeful you can mop up some puddles maybe you can dance some more because i'm gonna be focusing on these two for a minute he's gonna hold his wife's hands and then she's gonna go ahead she's gonna give him a little hug she's gonna do the little flirt Make him feel special. We can kiss each other. And then I'm just gonna go straight for the risky woohoo and they can go to bed. Make sure he accepts the proposition and then they'll go for it. Oh my god! Vita saw a meteor fall from the sky and land somewhere in town. Vita might want to use the map view to find the meteor. You guys are going to bed. Alright, cool. Let's go to map view. Go to Vita's view. Where's the meteor? Meteors are so cool. Fallen meteor. At the bunch's house, right? Or the Langerax. Langerax. Vita's gonna run. <laughs> collect the meteor. Jared's just be like, where are you going, Vita? While he's partying. She's like, I'm going to collect something. It's to see if aliens are, you know, if you think about it, her going to get a meteor is like, let me see if there's like scientific evidence of aliens. Because if there is, I could use them for world domination. Because she was just practicing that in her speech. So maybe she's like thinking of different tactics. You know, she's thinking about like different ways that she can get her wants. Even if they're a little unconventional. We support that. We support innovation. Vita got the meteor. Oh, it's valued at 109. We're about to chat with Justine. Okay. Yeah, chatting with someone in the police career sounds smart. We can analyze the space rock too. Okay, we're gonna have Vita go home. She's gonna get into the car in the middle of the crosswalk, the most precise and ethical way to do it. Oh my god, a new baby girl has been born to Zelda May and Ichabal. Okay, we're on cue. So I was thinking like Queen, and the first name that showed up was Queenie. Queenie May. I think that's cute. Jared's really good at shaking his hips, better than I am. And Vita's gonna come in. I think Jared is gonna come in. Well, he's gonna see Vita come in and he's just gonna boast about his dancing and be like, isn't it so much fun? Once he says that, Vita's going to cut off the music rather than affirm it. I think she's gonna be a little snacky with him. I feel like she's been kind of bored today. So I feel like she might insult him for some interest. Jared's gonna come back in. He can never just get insulted. So he's just gonna mock her snobbiness. Like that's the worst part about you i want everything my way uh, things have to be so high class nothing can be cheap my brain always tells me there's a cold shoulder one right give the cold shoulder i think at this point vita's just gonna stomp away and she of course is going to sleep in the bed all alone no baby and jared's i think jared i want to have jared see her storm off i think at that point he's gonna get another juice he's gonna be like oh my god i just want to talk about having fun dancing and she's doing whatever but also i love her and enjoy talking to her and it's just confusing so he's gonna get his juice and of course he is going to go up and he is going to sleep in the same bed as leon and just be like huh the two guys are designated for the less nice bed i guess she doesn't want to interact with five of us tonight should finding a meteor be a memory with seasons there be aliens so i feel like you know ooh, they exist it could actually cause world domination that's interesting but like i i feel like you know in base game that can't happen so i just feel like she kind of just like ran to go get it and maybe at this point if Vita analyzes it and depending on what she gets maybe she turns into a conspiracy theorist that would be interesting um a like a subscribe a comment means so much to me just watching means so much so I love hearing your ideas I really enjoy making these videos and I really like to know that you guys are liking them too so I hope that you have a lovely day and I will see you soon all right thank you for watching Bye bye